6 be amended as proposed. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? Okay. Will be part of the so, honourable members. Allow me to repeat that. I now put the question that clause 26 as amended be part of the bill. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Clause 27. Clause 27, 1227 has no amendments, and therefore I propose the question that Clause 27 be part of the bill. I now put the question that Clause 27 be part of the bill. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? Yes. The ayes have it. The Value Added Tax Act. Clauses 28 and 29. Honorable members, clauses 28 and 29 have no amendments, and therefore I propose the question that clause 28 and 29 be part of the bill. I now put the question that clause 28 and 29 be part of the bill. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The eyes have it. Close 30. Honorable members, I propose the question that close 30 be part of the bill. Move out the bill, close 30. Honorable Chair, I beg to move that clause 30 be amended as per the order paper. This proposed amendment 6 is seeking to define time of supply for where various documents are declared about the export, exportation of goods and, it, and where it is unclear what export confirmation documents means. So this amendment provides for clarity on which documents then would be, would be submitted uh, at customs during uh, exports of goods. With that, I beg to move Honorable Chair. I propose the question that clause 30 be amended as proposed. I, honorable members, I now put the question that clause 30 be amended as proposed. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. I now put the question that clause 30 as amended be part of the bill. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Clause 31. Uh, honorable members, I propose the question that clause 31 be part of the bill. Move of the bill, clause 31. Honorable Chair, I beg to move that clause 31 be amended as proposed in the bill by inserting a new paragraph EA, which says in the case of a taxable supply that is zero rated or exempted, such excess arose on account of where such arose or such excess arose on account of permanent credit position in favor of a registered person due to the difference between the rate applic applicable in on 1st of July 2022 uh, uh, and a lower rate of tax that such credit position uh, existed on the date that the taxable supply became the rate exempted. So then th this provides that they will be exempted by the commissioner for, for this excess taxes that are paid before the 1st of July 2022. With that, I beg to move on, Abba Chair. Honorable members, I propose the question that clause 31 be amended as proposed. Honorable members, I now put the question that clause 31 be amended as proposed. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. I now put the question 
that clause 31, as amended, be part of the bill. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The eyes have it. Clauses 32 and 33. Honorable members, clauses 32 and 33 do not have any amendments. I therefore propose the question that clause 32 and 33 be part of the bill. I now put the question that clause 32 and 33 be part of the bill. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The eyes have it. Clause 34. Honorable members, I now propose the question that clause 34 be part of the bill. I will give the first mover of the question, Honorable Lea Sankaire. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I, I propose that clause 34 of the bill is amended by inserting the following new paragraphs immediately after paragraph T. Madam Speaker, uh, my request is for inclusion of biomaterials on the list of tax exempt goods. And these are the biomaterials for the production of sanitary towels, which are, which are uh, environmentally friendly. Madam Speaker, the benefits of using compostable sanitary towels is that the biomaterials are processed from a bamboo tree and this provides for the com compostability after a period of between three weeks to one month, depending on the reagent used, which makes them environmental friendly. Chair, the bamboo tree has an antibacterial component that prevents any form of irritation or, the in uh, or infection on the girls or users. To the and the, Madam Speaker, this makes it suitable for girls due to the long hours they spend in class. The biosap used, used locks in the liquid, preventing any form of wetness, giving a high quality, comfortable pad uh, that offers long lasting protection uh, from leaks. Madam Speaker, it, it, it is in this regard that I propose that clause 34 of the bill be amended by inserting the following new paragraph immediately after paragraph T. T1, by inserting the following new paragraphs, immediately after paragraph 81. 81A, PLA bioplastic film of tariff number 3920.10.99. Uh, 81B, PLA bioplastic film of tariff number 3920.79. Point one zero. Eight one C uh, air laid paper of tariff number four eight one eight point eight nine point zero zero. Eight one D release paper without gum of tariff four eight one one point four nine point zero zero. Eight one E uh, release paper with gum of tariff four eight one one. 81F, a construction of glue, hot melt, of tariff 3506.99.00. 81G, positioning glue, hot melt, of tariff 3506.99.00. 81H, tissue bio sub sheet, 65 millimeters of tariff 4818.89.00. 811, are this structural of tariff 3506.99.00. 81J, bio poach, a pack of 10 pads of 3920.69.99. 81K ALA tissue paper of tariff 4818.90.99. Thank you, Madam Speaker. 
Chairperson of the Finance Committee. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, let me propose the chair. question. H hold on, let me propose the question first. Uh, I now propose the question that Clause 34 be amended as proposed, as on, proposed by Honorable Sankaire. And I'll give a chance to the Chairperson of the Finance Committee to contribute on that. Honorable Chair, I do uh, the committee during windowing. We did agree with Honorable Lea, uh, the Honorable Lea on zero rating this uh, local manufacture of biodegradable science titles. And most importantly, Honorable Chair, the committee also proposes deletion of paragraph H, I, J, and K. Honorable Chair, this is by making sure that we zero rate all raw materials that are used for. Uh, local manufacturing of diapers and sanitary towels. And most important, Honorable Speaker, is, is, Honorable Chair, it's important to mention that further up, we are providing for exemption from, from taxation for all diapers and sanitary towels in this country, Honorable Chair. In addition, uh, this particular clause is providing for zero rating of local manufacture of fertilizer, of local manufacture of, 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 uh, of, of, of all the micronutrients and fallafies that are used in, a, in a, adding value to a fertilizer, zero rating tea packaging materials, zero rating 